you know, Friday went on to become a franchise. There okay. was, I mean, Friday next Friday and Friday after next. Why didn't you show up on any of the subsequent Friday movies? Well, for movies? me personally, when I was doing Friday, Cube came up to me and he talked to me. He was like, I really like you. I really like your work. And I, I'm writing a script, you know, and it's called Players Club. And I wrote a part for you. And I want you to play um, the little sister and her little cousin. And she ain't got no ass. So you're perfect. And and you're going to rock it. You're going to be able to show them what you got. And I was like, okay, I just played, you know, supporting for all intents and purposes for Nini, for Nia, which is cool. You know, now you want me to play supporting for another role that is even worse because this woman is a stripper who gets raped and you know and my girl monica calhoun tow it up and the movie is uh, is iconic you know due to lisa ray um who prior to the movie we 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 vibed that was my girl it had nothing to do with her it was just for me the role was another direction in me staying in the supporting lane. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to get out of the supporting lane. So there were a lot of roles that I didn't do. And I think he might have taken that personally. I don't know. Um, I think everything is as it should be. I mm -hmm. think that Monica rocked that part. I think the movie is phenomenal. I think he was phenomenal, Jamie. You know, and I and I have no regrets. I just I just wish he had been able to understand that just because I didn't want that part, you know, doesn't mean I don't love you. Yeah, I mean AJ Johnson, who I interviewed, uh, he was in Players Club as well right. after doing Friday, and he told a whole story about how he was he had already made an agreement to be in next Friday. And he didn't find out he wasn't in next Friday until he showed up to the set and they t told him that he couldn't even get on the set. How come you weren't asked to be in the other Friday movies? I was asked. But you were? They, yeah, it was uh, the, the second one. Next Friday. Uh, yeah, the next Friday. Q called me and uh, we had a meet and we was talking about the money. And we came, we came to a number that I was getting and we shook hands and we was going to do it. And uh, it's like about two, two, three weeks later, I get a phone call and I said, uh, that, I mean, I was in the mood, I was going to shoot it. And I get a phone call. He said, he's like, man, they, uh, you know, they shooting uh, next Friday. I'm like, uh, they, how are they shooting? I'm I'm in it. How are they shooting? You know, yeah, they down on uh, like 105th Street right now shooting. So I get in my car and I go down there. I try to go on the set to talk to Cube, but he done already had me barred off the set where I can't get on. Oh, I'm so like, he knew that was coming. Yeah. I... He done had me bored. I can't. I can't get on to talk to him. Come to find out that he done hired the dude from Onyx to play my part, Fredro Star, for way less than what he was gonna give me. AJ is my boy. I don't. I don't feel Ice Cube did me dirty. I think I might have hurt his feelings because he wrote something specifically for me, and. I wanted, I wanted Lisa Ray's part. You know, it wasn't Lisa Ray at the time. You know, it was a part, you know, that I wanted to bring my chops to. I fell in love with the journey of that character. And he kept saying, your ass ain't big enough. <laughs> I was like, damn it, nigga. What the fuck do an ass got to do with the journey that this bitch got to give? <laughs> And yeah, this, this is before ass was, shots, by the way. Yeah. We're even around. And so. so when I saw the movie, I got it. Okay, she wants a big ass. Like, I have a big titty. Shit, I'm getting fucking titties. Go to the white clubs. Shit. The fuck? Go to the 
players club. <laughs> the players gentlemen's club. <laughs> what the fuck? No, I'm just playing. I got it. You know, because mm -hmm. Lisa Ray is my mother. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got it. You know, but it wasn't her at the time. And I didn't, it wasn't about that. For me, it was about growing as an actor, as an actress. And I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want the part. So I can't, I can't speak on what AJ did. AJ is my honey bunches of oats. But if it was me and I didn't get paid in Friday one, ain't no way I'm turning up for Friday two. That's just me. That's <laughs> all I got to say about that. <laughs> there we have it. Okay, so, but you just kept working after that. Uh, I mean, you got on. Uh, I kept hustling. You got on the Wayne's Brothers I show. I being blessed. Thank you, Jesus. You got on the Wayne's Brothers show. Well, I got on the Wayne's Brothers show because of Jesus once again, back this. Um, Marlon went to Howard with me. Mm. So when I was going out, he was coming in and, you know, he was a baby. So I was the, you know, the grown up senior and, you know, he was the baby. So that was my honey. And mm -hmm. so we, he, when he got his own show, he made sure he put me down, you know, and that's why I tell people, that's why I started this off with. You know, people try to act like the parties are unnecessary, the relationships. No. Like, we were talking about my son going to school, you know. And I was telling you, you know, I'm not putting him in private schools. But I know people that do because this that's where the fancy pantses go. Mm -hmm. You know, you think because you moved to Calabasas, you're going to go, you know, go to school with the Kardashians. No, but boo, they go to private school, hunty. They not go to Calabasas high. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you have to put yourself with people that are going to be able to nurture you and vice versa in life, you know? And I'm not saying Go and seek out, hmm, they go, they go Puffy. Puffy going to be a trillionaire. One. How the hell was I supposed to know Puffy ass? <laughs> I just liked him. You know what I'm saying? If you're genuine, you, you're just genuine. He was funny. He made me laugh. He could dance. So he was my boy. Mm -hmm. You know, not because he was puffy, he wasn't puffy. I remember puffy used to get beat up. You know what I'm saying? But we love puffy. You know, I'd be like, leave puffy alone. Hey, puffy was getting I'd beat up. I'd be the first one. Oh, oops. P puffy was getting beat up. Oops. Oops. <laughs> I've done so many interviews where people have painted puffy in a bad oh, okay. light that this is just going to wash in, right, in the sea of other I ones. I thought everybody knew. <laughs> I didn't know people didn't know. Sorry, puffy. 